going to be the golden circle. So this is something that I've been watching and something that I think that is... I think that it's important to think about and it's it recently it got me thinking about the golden circle and let me explain what it is um the golden circle is think of a circle and the out think of layers within the circle with uh three different circles one from the inside then it gets one in the middle and then one on the outside i'm just okay. saying my, probably not the best way to describe it but on the inside the inner circle the most inner circle is going to be why the middle circle is going to be how and the outer circle is going to be what and this was um this was something that a youtube video that i watched brought up it was an older youtube video by simon sinek um he talked about every company operates like this um what happened well, i think it's like every successful company or like notable notably successful yes and yes you're right it's that every notably successful company operates like this and the reason being that it's harder to understand why a company is doing something than it is to understand what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And like the example given was Apple. He gave the example of Apple and he talked about that they led their marketings during the time with why instead of what they are. Mm -hmm. An example being that their branding and their campaign was all about thinking differently. Mm -hmm. Their marketing was geared towards why you should buy this product. It's like yes. what, what it means to buy this product. And then it goes on to layer on, like they are changing the step. They like an example that he gave. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that it was that Apple wanted to challenge the status quo how they were doing it by redefining how people thought about technology and what they were doing. Mm -hmm. They were building computers. So it really gave, um, it really gave you the feeling that you were being part of something bigger. And I wanted to explain this because the reason I'm bringing this up is because I've thought of Tesla and the topics that we had talked about before mm -hmm. where people bought into the idea of Tesla and they didn't buy the car for they didn't they bought the car but they bought it for themselves they didn't buy it for the company they bought it because they wanted to to represent be, that to represent this yes it they wanted to represent ev and a positive change to the world mm. they were buying the idea that elon was giving out that he wanted to change the world i mean message right now i don't know i don't know how how it is i think it's the, I think it's the same yeah, I think it's the same, but some of his other stuff like Twitter, I, I but it's, it got me thinking about that and mm -hmm. asking, it's like how companies market themselves now. And it, it got me thinking about Twitter and how they were marketing themselves. Um, because I feel like there's not real, a real brand message there on like, why, what, like, why should we be using this? And um, I, I think... The whole thing was um, like free speech. I thought that was the the uh, idea behind it, the um, town square of appeal. Yes, but the yes, and I wanted to say this because I was thinking I was thinking of a branding or a marketing message that Twitter could pull, put out. And I'm just let me say this: it's like I was thinking about the why, the how, and the what of of this. Um, mm -hmm. He's done like Tesla instantly you know what it is you know what they're doing you you know why they're doing it it's all it's all, all easy to go from what to why but it's harder to go from why to what so for twitter in in this case i wanted to say that i wanted to say that uh <laughs> i wanted to say that it was that oh yes free speech how they're doing it challenging um they wanted to allow free speech and what they were doing it by a platform by having um, this this done and I want to and I'm just saying I may I might be going off the deep end here but I did want to say that to me it got me thinking about different types of companies and different types of branding and how they were doing it um, the video was really good too because it also did talk about some other aspects of like challenging the status quo and why people were doing the things they were doing and one was um, the Wright brothers and flying and man-powered flight and it was talking about how people 
people will follow you not for what you do, but for what you believe in. I, I think you, what's it called? I think the message itself was very powerful. And I think that, I think you definitely are very uh, <laughs> I, interested in this topic. I'm like, okay, yeah. you watch let, the same let them cook. Oh God, let them cook. <laughs> you watch the you watch the same video. What do you think? Hmm? I honestly didn't think you were gonna go uh, <laughs> this direction with it. Oh my God, I was like, oh, uh, like you know, I thought you're gonna go into like personally, like how you as like in a leadership position, like would incorporate the uh, the circles, like leading from the why, like you do something versus like what is supposed to be done like this Mm. is because like as much as we talk about um like other people and the ceos and stuff and how they are doing stuff a lot of times it comes back to the the viewer or ourselves and like how can we improve as a as a person or a leader and i feel like the golden circle that you brought up was a is a very good tool to um to show your vision and like express like why you are deeply moved by this versus like we need to do this because i said so it's you inspire them to do it because they believe in the message and the mission of what you're doing you know yes you're right this is a really good way to um it's a really good way to say it and i do want to say that it just you know it had me thinking just you're you're right but it had me thinking about all the companies that use Mm. it and it had me thinking about especially uh, Tesla oh. and especially Elon Musk, because a lot of people bought into that. But I feel like a lot of companies now have really... I feel like the for Tesla, yeah. they, a lot of people's expectations have been um, kind of kind of defeated because like, they bought into the electrification and like Elon's message, but now it's been muddied by the fact that he's the CEO of Tesla or t- of Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. So like, I think the, the brand message is is getting muddied. Yeah, I think so. And I think that is true. Um, there's a bunch of other there's a bunch of other things like you said it could be applied for. And like as in the video, it did talk about mm-hmm. people who are just chasing after people who are just chasing after fame and money and not being passionate. Mm-hmm. Um, and you could clearly see it. You could clearly see in a lot of these things. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't point at me. Um yeah, no, it just makes me think because I think like you could I wanted to bring this up because it's like the topic that we talked about last week and I could see it for Tesla, but I can't see it for Twitter. And in I, terms of the vision, in terms of the vision, I think like on the on paper vision is there, but I don't think the application, the, um, the application or the um, like how or what I don't think the the vision is actually being done in a way that people are. Are expecting it to be done hmm. so like his way of leadership might actually be defeating the the status quo of what originally the mission was so he's forcing his own like thoughts of what twitter should be onto it which is jarring for the original like people who bought into like the idea of twitter so it might just be like a like a reconstruction phase of like refiguring out what the actual vision of like what Twitter should be. Do, yeah. Do you think that Twitter should have a, a new CEO? Yeah, that, I do. Yeah. I so? do, yeah. I think so. I do think so. And can you, I don't think you can like, I don't think that's possible though. You, it's a, I think like it's, it's like a cult of personality where like, you know, how can you fill the shoes of Elon Musk? You know, like he's so outspoken, like even like controversy is like, for better or worse, marketing is marketing, you know? That is true. If you have Twitter in the public, like, conscience all the time, mm. even for better or worse, they're going to be like, oh, you know, Twitter. Twitter this, Twitter that. Yeah, but I don't want to only focus on um, Twitter and mm. um, Tesla. I did want to say that this is, like, it, it. you can see it more clearly in some of these other companies, like Nike. Like, Nike is a, also a mm. prime example of their messaging and the why of what they do like there's like literally just do it I, and, and I, it's yeah. core to what they do and that's literally i think what i wanted to say is that i think that it's easy for i think it's easy to get lost into into the whys and it's easy to fall back on the what they're doing but at the same time it's not going to lead to uh, it's not going to lead to the people believing what you want them to believe or what you believe 
or buy into the message you know yeah so i think it's just one of those things where it's like when i saw this i was like oh this is really applicable it's it's applicable to all businesses mm. it's applicable to all businesses and it's i think it's just being authentic and being core to who you are is just super important and but i do feel like a lot of companies lose their way or l let me know if you, you think differently than that but that's what i i got out of it and i saw it like very core to business i think a lot of times the whole thing is that the shareholders can kind of muddy the um the message of what the company is going for because the the drive for profits above all else hmm. is what the like business mindset is or like what a business is supposed to do or a corporation is supposed to do yeah. is like it works for the shareholders and if the shareholders want money vision doesn't pay money you know like <laughs> like just having a vision like that's that's great and all but like how are we improving year over year or quarters quarterly improving you know so i think the more shareholders have on the influence on how the company is doing i think that's a negative cuz like like while it pushes them to like produce results it also could like muddy the the pure like essence of what the company originally was made to do i think uh i think a balance a balance needs to be struck mm. and i i think that's important like having a balance between things i think is important and um company wise i think that it's important to have the balance between um making profits and having a vision mm. because i think to yeah to some extent like there a lot of these companies are chasing profits especially now <laughs> I, I yeah especially now there's a lot a lot happening in the economy so so yeah um yeah but that's all i wanted to say that's all i wanted to say about this topic i thought it was i thought it was good um that i thought it was a good video i thought it was good business application i thought it could be used in different aspects of life mm. and especially i thought it'd be good especially like people who are being entrepreneurs and um necessarily having to sell their so having to have other people believe in what they they believe in that's true yes mm-hmm <laughs>